This is At Home with Miss Joan, and I know that you are so used to seeing me in the kitchen. Well, today we're in my guest room because I'm getting it ready for company, and I thought, well, we'll just make a video about that. Maybe we can encourage some people with some of my ideas, and I hope at the end of this you'll leave some of your guest room ideas uh, down in the information box. But uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, entertaining people. I have always loved that. If you'll know that in the Bible, uh, Jesus thought so much of hospitality that it's listed in one of the uh, spiritual gifts. And uh, I love company. I always have. And uh, being married to a full-time minister for 41 and a half years that he served in churches, uh, we entertained a lot of evangelists and ministers and missionaries, and we've had a lot of friends and family over the years, and I just love, I hope we've made everybody comfortable and feel welcome when they visit our home. But we, we'd like to keep it ready in here, and I'm getting it ready right now, and I just wanted to share some tips and ideas. And those of you that know me, you know that Miss Joan has got a list on how to get her her guest room and guest bathroom ready for company. I, my friends always make fun of me because I've got a list about everything. So I just go to my computer. It's a Word document. Print it off and it helps me get this room and uh, the house ready for company. Now I'm going to get Jordan, if she will, just to maybe spin around and make a panoramic view of the bedroom. It's not very big, but we'll let her show it to you. Oh, it's not a oh, very big room. I forget, I think the measurements are like 13 by 13 foot, something like that, in here. And it got a little uh, bathroom, too. And it's not very big either, but it sure fits the bill around here when we have company. And I, uh, I'm going to talk to you about how to get it ready. And uh, she's, she's still filming the panoramic view. She's getting the... It's the bathroom and the closet too, huh? Okay. Uh, what I do is I come in here and I bring my list with me and I go down and I just check it off. It's got little check places. And the first one I got written down is to open up <laughs> the floor vents. And what it is, is since we don't use this room all the time, then I close off the vents because it saves on the power bill. So I make sure that I open up the vents and that they're clean, not real dusty. And then uh, we dust the room real good and dust the ceiling fan. And I know to check all the lamps and the light bulbs. And I'm just going down my list telling you what I do to get ready. And then, oh, my brother enjoys this when he comes to stay. I got a candy dish, and I always fill it up with his favorite little bite-sized candy bars. And so I'll be filling that up for company. And then, oh, sometimes we'll put bottled water in here. Just anything that you can think of that will make your company feel better or just make them feel at home and relax. And a lot of times they're a little bit hungry, but they don't. Uh, supper's not ready yet or whatever and they can just have a little snack right here in their room and uh, you know not feel like they're bothering you every few minutes they're not but they might feel that way and oh yeah I was going to tell you my two best tips that I ever heard and I've tried both of them and it works about getting your guest room ready sleep in there one night you say what yes <laughs> I've come in here and just Went to bed in here, slept in here, got got ready in here. That helps me notice things that I might have forgot that would be a hardship on my guests. So sleep in your guest room was tip one. And here's another one. Take a bath in your guest room bath or whichever bath they're going to use in your house. You take a bath in there because we're so, and get ready. We're so used to getting ready in our bedroom and in our bathroom till we don't think maybe things is tore up or needs to be maintained or fixed in uh, where our company's staying. And I know I tried that. I was, I was taking that bath in the shower in there and water started coming up way up my leg and so happened that it was uh, some kind of draining problem down in there. Well, they wouldn't have never told me that. They would have just took the shower and stumped through that water and come on out. But I caught that and was able to get somebody here to fix it before my company come last time. So take a bath in the bathroom. They're going to and get ready in there and also sleep in that bed and you will come up with all kind of ideas. You won't even need Miss Jones list, but let us carry on. Of course, we vacuumed the whole room and all in the closet and I put out coasters everywhere so they can just set their uh, drink bottles anywhere they want to. And then I checked the trash cans, like right here. I got trash cans on both sides of the bed. Well, I'm gonna come in here now and I'm gonna put a fresh uh, trash bags in all of my trash cans. And uh, 
I have uh, extra plugs. Everybody traveling and staying with you nowadays, they've got their cell phone, maybe their tablet and all kind of equipment. And so I like to use those, uh, put extra outlets out. I call them six prongers, you know, it's a outlet that's got all these plug-in places that you can use. I've got one over here ready behind that table. And I've got ones here beside the bed. So there's plenty of places to plug in any kind of equipment, whether it's extra hair dryers or whatever they've got. And then, you know, I might be hot, they might be cold. So I always put just a little floor fan in the corner here if they want to use it. And uh, some people sleep with a little noise going, especially when they're in a strange place. So I have uh, I have one of those little noise boxes where it's, uh, you know, uh, feels like, uh, sounds like the ocean waves or whatever. But most of the time what I've learned is people just turn on the fan and run it. So uh, just a little fan. That, that way if they get hot there, they've got it plus the ceiling fan. And I also have a, a little heater. Just a little, one of those little round heaters in the bathroom in case, you know, you get out of the shower sometimes, you're a little bit chill for a few minutes. Well, there's that little heater that they can plug in. Of course, we change the sheets in the guest room. And I like to have plenty of pillows and uh I usually have this made up for two people, and that'll be four pillows that I'd have uh, on the bed just so they'll have plenty of pillows. I don't know about y'all, but I'm old now, and I sleep with a lot of pillows. <laughs> and uh, I have the extra sheets and extra pillowcases down here in this trunk at the end of the bed. And then I have some extra blankets, and uh, I even have electric blanket. I think you can see the control here sitting by the bed in case, you know, they're cold. And then I provide the reading material. I'll have some magazines laying out here on this little table. And I have a Bible. Just like you do if you go to a motel. I like to have a Bible in the guest room. And then a, a radio or an alarm clock. And then that's always really handy too. Because some, What I know now are cell phones. We use them for our alarm clocks. But I still have one in here. And then for the TV, what I've learned is... Uh, so many people use so many different services. Now, it might be Hulu TV or YouTube TV or regular cable. So I try to have a list of our TV channels that we're using and in with the remote and everything so they can, at night, some people play the TV all night long. That's up to them, but I do have a list and when they're in here if they want to play the TV. And uh, I try to remember to give them our Wi-Fi password. And that way it helps them not use up all their data while they're staying with us. And then in here, in the little drawers over here, I have a flashlight. And over there, I, I have uh, night lights where they can use that. So this is when you're in a strange house, you know, it's hard to find things. So that the night lights provided. And then I don't have it in this room right now, but... Oh, I have a little table that I can put here and it serves as a nightstand and I put a, a mirror on it and it holds this lamp and I put this chair under it and it's kind of like a little desk in case I have somebody that's preparing a sermon or whatever they want to use their laptop then I use this little area right here where I set them up kind of a little desk. It just depends on who's coming as to how that I fine tune the room. And sometimes I have a big mirror sitting here in case there's a lady she wants to sit down and do her makeup. I try to think of everything like that. And uh, a comfortable chair. Well, I this is just a little chair. It's not all that comfortable. But I do have a bigger chair over here in the corner. A place for them to sit down, put their shoes and socks on, and just a comfortable chair. And uh, in here, these two windows, the sun's kind of bright in here if you're sleeping a little later and so what I done was I just bought two big old old wide black or navy blue towels big long ones and then I just put uh, safety pins in the corner and nailed me two nails up under my valances here and I tell them hey if you want to block out these lights here just hang these two black towels up and it will block out the light I'm shopping I'm looking for some of those blackout window shades I know they make them it's just I haven't bought them yet but that helps them to make the room as dark or as light as they want it to be. Now, <clears throat> if kids are coming, I don't have any kids around here all the time, but if kids are coming, I have a box out in my building that has uh, toys in it that I make sure that we have plenty of toys and stuff for kids. When I take out the big box I told you I bring in of children's items, children's toys, uh, if you will want to look back in some of my videos, I've got one called Storing Big Items 
for holidays and any time. And it shows how that you can store anything you want to and grab it and get it in just a matter of minutes. Watch that, will you, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And that's what I do. I went outside and I looked and found box 30 and brought in all those toys that I need for the kids that will be coming. And if a child was staying in here, then uh, the parents always appreciate when I put a plastic sheet uh, over the mattress because in case they have a bed wedding or something, it don't embarrass the parents if they, uh, you know, wet the sheet. So I try to think about if kids are in this room, uh, how could I make it uh, kid, kid friendly? And uh, I try to, when the guests arrive and we've all settled in or whatever, I try to show them some of, some of the little, I don't know what the word is, idiosyncrasies, I don't know, of the room, like, <laughs> These two lamps are good lamps, but this one, you can turn it on, and then you got to kind of hit it <laughs> for it to really work. So I try to give them my little tricks on how to get this lamp to work if they're on this side of the bed, just little things like that. And we, uh, to get into our house, you got to have the opener, the garage door opener, so we give them one, and we give them the code to the burglar alarm and things like that where they can kind of come and go as they please. And uh, I've got a list over here too, like uh, emergency phone numbers if we're not here, uh, the neighbors next door, uh, where they'll have that. And just anything that would help them in case they needed it. Uh, let's see what else. I like to know what my guest allergies are. I usually know that ahead of time, so I won't be like serving things or that they're allergic to. Now, uh, I, I'm gonna go into getting the bathroom ready next, but this come to me too, it's on here. I get my entrances to the house ready too, like the porches. We clean the porches and uh, we don't smoke inside of our house, but I do put an ashtray out on the back porch and I want them to feel at home. And if they do smoke, that they go out on the back porch and just do the smoking out there. And uh, I try my best to just make my guests feel at home. And then I won't talk for just a minute about uh, getting the bathroom ready. Like I said, I would have checked off all of this and got it ready, and then I move over to what my guest bath needs. Well, also in there, I'm going to start out by opening up the vents. Once again, I'm real cheap, and I close them up when nobody's here. And I'm going to dust everything in the bathroom, including the light fixtures. You know how dust can get up high and all of those. Of course, we're going to clean the bath and the shower and the sink, and uh, I'm going to put out uh, good liquid soap in my soap dispensers. And... Uh, I'm going to stock the bathroom. I know that when I'm traveling somewhere, I pack my own toiletries, but I like to have a drawer in there that is full of toiletries of some things they might have forgot, such as toothpaste, mouthwash. I have a new toothbrushes in there, floss, Q-tips, band-aids, deodorant, Kleenex, lotion. I got handheld mirror in there, shampoo, conditioner, uh, paper towels. I have a dispenser of paper towels on my a bar in there along with the regular towels and then I even put a couple of sanitary napkins in there just things that they might have forgot uh, to get when they left home and then always have a toilet plunger in that bathroom because accidents can happen and toilets can overflow and so I try to make sure there's a toilet plunger in there and that there's a good safety tub mat in the tub when they take a shower and I like to check the temperature of the water too because we got different water heaters here in this house and sometimes in here the water's cold and we forgot to turn the hot water heater back up. Anyway, uh, I have a little paper cup dispenser that holds those little uh, cups for brushing your teeth. And then I like to make sure we got enough bath towels, washcloths, and hand towels. Here's something that I do because of that escapade I had. I told you about the water backing up in the tub. Uh, we run Drano through the tub, the toilet, and the sink, oh, about a few days before if we know ahead of time company's coming. And that makes sure that the hair clogs and all that's already gone on out the drains. And then, uh, I hope I said we cleaned the tub and the shower. Did I say that? And the commode and the sinks and the mirrors, that uh, get them all shined up. And then in there, there's trash cans, and I fill them with uh, clean bags. I check and make sure my little bath heater's in there, and I have extra cords, just like the little fan that's in here. I put an extension cord with it because, you know, they might be over here, and they want the fan over there or whatever, and so I try to have some extra extension cords. And room deodorizers are, are 
a must for me too because bathrooms, you know, you want them to smell good. So I make sure there's room deodoriters. I can't say that. I don't know if my daughter's going to be able to blurb this out or not. <laughs> but if not, I'm trying to say room deodorizers. Okay. <laughs> and then in the closet, I don't know if you could see it from her picture, but I have an iron and ironing board in there. I don't know if anybody irons in nowadays, but we do. And then a cl plenty of clothes hangers and clothes pins. And then I put a laundry basket in there because, you know, they don't want to keep their dirty clothes in with their suitcase clothes and all that. And plus, I have the drawers cleaned out in here where they can actually unpack and uh, put all their clothes in the drawer. And then uh, I try to make sure there's plenty of room for them to store their luggage. And, uh, of course, I'm fortunate now I get to keep that little closet empty for company, but I used to have it full of stuff, and I'd clean it out before company arrived, make sure there's plenty of room in there. And then uh, I check my hall bathroom, too, to make sure it's ready for company by just going around here, making a double check, and then I've got all my bathrooms ready for company. Uh, let me see if there's anything else that... I wanted to tell y'all. I always get my daughter to save us some ice because we use a lot of ice when we have company. She saves her ice and I save mine. And we got plenty for everything that we need. And, um, oh, for me, like, well, Christmas, my brother and his wife was here for about two weeks. And my friend stayed here who was getting out of the hospital from cancer. She stayed in another room. And, uh, you know, you got to think about what are you wearing in front of company. Uh, some of my pajamas for cooking breakfast don't look all that great. So I try to think, now, what am I going to wear while we're cooking breakfast? So I go ahead and think about what's something that looks real decent <laughs> for me to wear. Because when it's your brother and his wife and my best friend that's staying with us, you don't have to get fully dressed for them. So I think about what I'm going to wear in front of them. And uh, let's see. I also have a list, but that's that's not about getting your guest room ready. When I've got company, it's going to stay for an extended period of time. I Also on here, it tells what I want my kitchen, get done in my kitchen, and things I want to get done in the living room, and just all kind of things. So I can kick back and relax and enjoy my company. Now, you'll say, well, uh, Miss Joan, you said that your brother and his wife stayed in here Christmas, and your friend, where did she stay? I want you to know that I hadn't always had a separate guest room, but I've always made room for a company, and you can do it too. That's why I didn't go around and show you every little thing, because I want you to imagine how can you set your home up to entertain more people and more friends. And I've got, you know, we have four bedrooms, so that sounds like, wow, but we use them, okay? Preacher took one for his office, and I for his study in our office. Okay, I took one <laughs> for uh, my piano, my music room. I call it my music room and my sewing room. Okay, okay. And then my, me and Preacher's got a bedroom. So we got one bedroom and we're in it right now left for company. But what I do is when I have overflow company, I take my sewing and piano room, music room. There's a couch in there. And it's a little room. I think it's like, oh no, 10 by 11. It's small. And we just pull the couch, makes a bed. I bought it specially so I'd have that. And, of course, those little mattresses aren't very thick. But kids, they don't care. You know, you pull that out. Well, my friend was an adult Christmas, so I borrowed a mattress from my daughter's house. We brought it over here, pulled out the pop-out couch, and put a nice mattress on it and set up a room. There's a closet in there, and I cleaned it out. It's got a rod and made a place, and I just went right down my get a guest room ready list and set up the room for my friend to stay. And uh, we, uh, she used the bathroom, it's the hall bathroom, and made us have two guest rooms, you know, that time. So we use our house as multi-purpose, I guess, for a lot of different things, and it worked out fine. And uh, I don't know if I've shared everything. I hope I have. I hope I've stirred up in you. Uh, oh, man, I would love to have so-and-so over, and I've always thought I couldn't. Yes, you can. That was a time when I just had one of them cot things that springs up like this, and you roll it into the house, you know, and you open it up. We've used that back when we was having all these spend-the-night parties when my daughter was a teenager. We had a hot air hockey table, and uh, we put a 
piece of plywood on top of it. We had a little mattress we throw it up there, and we had kids sleeping on it. She's grinning back here. She remembers that. <laughs> on our hockey table, there was kids laying in the floor. Uh, they was just everywhere, you know, but we had the best time, and that's the thing you need to re remember is enjoy your company and just have the best time. I've got the most fun memories of having company, and uh, they don't care. Or what your bed looks like. They don't care what the room looked like last week and what it looks like this week. They just want to feel at home and enjoy being with you. Time is so precious and I love spending it with the ones that we love. And uh, oh yeah, here's a little something that I do too. I keep a log of, see I'm going to go in here and I updated it after Christmas when my brother and was here and I updated what we ate every day. Uh, the menus, and so I can tell you what we had. I keep up under his name what he likes, what his grandkids like to eat. You know, I learned what my friend Gloria likes to eat this day of Christmas, and I made a little notation of all that. And then I kind of know when I'm getting ready for them the next time they come, well, he likes Dr. Pepper, you know. Uh, Gloria likes sweet tea. She don't drink nothing else. So I keep a little notation of what uh, the different ones like. And I've already started ideas for 2022 so i know little things oh we didn't get to ride up to so-and-so's house while they was here so i made a note that we want to do go to some old relatives homes and reminisce and just just little free things and i got some brochures of uh, little river canyon uh, sites that are around here in center alabama where we live weiss lake <laughs> right across the road and uh, I keep little notes on the things that we can do for fun while they're here that are around close. And you can do that too and just keep uh, little notes about it. And when your company comes, you're right ready to know, oh yeah, we can do this. We can have a picnic up at uh, Little River Canyon. And we've done that. It's great fun. But anyway, I hope I hadn't made this video too long because my daughter starts looking at me like, this is too long, mama. But enjoy enjoy remember that's something god wants us to do to entertain people to love them and you don't have to have the best of everything i oh let me say this <clears throat> i learned this a long time ago if you wait till everything is perfect in your home you will never have any company remember that i remember back when i was new preacher's wife i wasn't but 19 um when he started pastoring and I didn't know, I thought, I don't have enough dishes, they don't know how to match, I don't have enough cups and plates. And then I, somebody shared that with me. If you wait until everything is perfect, you'll never have any company. And that just struck home with me. I know the Lord sent it to me as a message. And it's like, I can do this. And uh, I have enjoyed every single year of it. And thank you for listening in. And please drop your notes. Oh, Miss Joan, when I have company, I try to do this and it's a big help. And oh, well, you know that I cook and freeze and try to have food ready, but that's a different video. Today we're talking about getting a place for them to sleep ready. Thank y'all for tuning in to At Home with Miss Joan. I know we're not in the kitchen, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm going to enjoy my upcoming company, and I hope you get to enjoy yours. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe and share them with your friends.